Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Have you ever wanted to make your own Christmas stocking? In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make your own fully lined Christmas stocking with the cuff. Stay tuned if you want to learn how to do that. The materials you'll need are fabric, so you need two different types of fabric. I'm using flannel here. You'll need one for the outer layer of the stocking and one for the lining. You'll also need either an old stocking or a pattern. The pattern that I'm using is from Learn Create Sew. They have pattern sizes from extra small all the way up to extra large. I'll link it below. Interfacing is optional. You should use this if you're using a thinner weight fabric. For this project, you want to cut two layers of your outer fabric and you also want to cut two layers of that lining. If you're using a thinner fabric, you also want to cut two layers of that interfacing. I like to fold my fabric in half just to make sure that my fabric is mirroring each other. And so I don't have to cut out too many layers, I go ahead and lay them on top of each other so I can just do one cut to cut out all four layers. Next you're just going to lay your pattern down and make sure everything is nice and centered. If the pattern on your fabric is going in one direction like mine is, just keep that in mind as you're cutting out your layers. After you have your pattern nice and centered, you're going to go ahead and take a marker. I'm using an invisible ink marker but you can use a sharpie or a pen and you're going to just trace all the way around your pattern. I'm using pattern weights to hold my pattern down but you can use pins or you can even use anything that's heavy to hold it down. Don't forget to transfer your pattern markings onto your fabric. This one has a marking for the opening we need for the lining and it also has a marking for where we're going to place our tab. After we're done transferring the markings we're going to go ahead and take that pattern off. I like to put my pattern weights back on there as I'm cutting just so the four layers don't shift but like I said before you can place anything heavy on top of it or you can just pin it together. Now I'm going to take my scissors and snip those markings that we made to go through all four layers. Now we're going to work on the tab. So for the tab you want to take some of your scrap fabric and we're going to cut out a piece of fabric that's 2 inches by 5 inches. The pattern says to use ribbon but I like the look of the matching tab instead. Next we're going to fold that tab in half hot dog style and then we're going to pin it and sew it together. I sewed it together using a 3 8 seam allowance. Now we're going to take our tab and then we're going to cut off that excess seam allowance that's left on there. Make sure to cut close to that stitch line without cutting through that stitch line. We're going to turn our stitch inside out using this turning tool. If you don't have one of these tools then you can just take a safety pin, pin it through one side of that um, tab and then you just push it through until it's pulled all the way through. Now that that tab's done we're going to place our two outer pieces right sides together. We're going to pin them and then take them over to our sewing machine and sew it together. We're going to sew it together using a 3 8 seam allowance. Now we're going to work on our lining. So what you want to do is take your tab, you're going to fold it in half, and then we're going to place it in between the two layers of our lining. So we're going to open our lining and we're going to place it at that mark that we marked earlier. We're going to close it and then take a pin and pin it together. As we're sewing, you want to make sure to leave that opening that we marked earlier. This is going to allow us to turn our stocking right side out when we're done sewing. As I'm sewing over that tab, I remove that pin and I make sure I reinforce that tab just so it doesn't break with the weight of anything you put into the stocking. After we're done sewing our lining, we're going to take our scissors and snip little triangles into the curves of that stocking. This is going to reduce bulk as we turn it right side out. If you have pinking shears, those actually work better. But if not, these scissors work just as fine. And then you just do the same step with the outer layer. I'm using pinking shears on this one so you guys can see how it looks. Now we're going to turn our lining right side out. To do this, you just put your hand into the stocking and you just pull it right side out. After I'm done with this, I like to take it over to my ironing board and iron it flat. Ironing it flat helps a lot with the next step. So for this next step, what we're going to do is we're going to take our lining and we're going to stuff it into our stocking. So the outer layer of our stocking is still wrong side out. That's exactly what we want. Since our inner layer is right side out, they're going to be right sides together. Next we're going to pin it together and we're going to take it over to our sewing machine and sew around that top. You're going to sew that top with the 3 8 seam allowance. Once everything's sewn together, we're going to go ahead and start the process of turning the stocking right side out. So to do that, we're going to pull out that inner layer and then we're going to search for that hole that we left open. Once you find it, you're going to go ahead and reach your hand in there and then you're going to start pulling the stocking right side out. Once the stocking is right side out, I iron it flat and then we find that hole that we left open. You're going to take it over to your sewing machine and sew that close together. 
Now that it's closed, the next step is to stuff that lining back into your stocking. So you're just gonna push it down into your stocking and then you're just gonna wiggle it around until everything is nice and smooth. After that, we're just gonna fold our cuff over so you just fold it over until you see that tab. Once you see that tab, you just smooth everything out and then you're done. This is what the finished stocking looks like. Like I said before, this pattern comes in various sizes so you can make extra small stockings all the way up to very large stockings. The beauty of making your own Christmas stockings is that you can customize them however you want. I'm using this really cute mushroom pattern, but you can use traditional Christmas patterns if you want. You can even spice it up and do character patterns for your kids. Let me know in the comments below if this tutorial was helpful for you guys. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye!